A meeting next week could be the catalyst for a new or revitalised ratepayers association. Kelton Hill resident Dennis Dorney is planning the meeting to replace or bolster the Dunedin Ratepayers and Householders Association. The association has been in the news this week with revelations it hasn't held an annual meeting for two years. Mr jo uh, Do Dorney joins us tonight to explain the background to his moves. Good evening, Dennis. Good evening. And tell us a little bit about your interest in local politics. I understand you've been a member of two political parties. Well, rather more, about four, actually. But uh, when I was in Australia, uh, the first part I got involved in was the Australian Democrats. And uh, I was involved with that because... Um, at the time, the banks had been deregulated, and um, they immediately started pumping up a tremendous uh, property bubble, and I could see that it would collapse. So I joined the only party that looked like opposing it, and that's Australian Democrats. Mm -hmm. I was with them from then on until 1999. And uh, I'm a member of the Social Credit Party now. I was a member of the Greens in New Zealand before that. I've been in New Zealand five years, and I can't get away from politics, so I had to join something. Now, you're setting up a meeting for Tuesday. What has led to that move? Um, there was an article, an opinion piece, in the ODT by Linton Weggery. And um, I was interested in the article. I wanted to contact him, so I did what other people do and Googled um, the Dunedin Ratepayers and Householders Association. And uh, on their website, I noticed that um, there'd been no entries since 2010, as far as I could see. So this bothered me, and I, I made contact with the only contact address on the website and asked, you know, are you alive or dead? Um, you know, what's going on? And um, he replied, much to my surprise, that uh, in his opinion, yes, it, it virtually was. Um, he was, he and the other members were um, uh, fed up with the apathy of Dunedin residents. And um, they'd given it their best shot. They were now all over 70. And if somebody else cared to pick up the, um, the, t the tab and run with it, then that'd be good. And so um, I thought, well, uh, what do I do now? And after a while I thought, well, somebody should do something. So I've called a meeting in the Dunedin Community Centre. Mm. And um, that will be on Tuesday, as you said. And anyone who wants to come along can come along. What's going to be on the agenda? Uh, well, there's only one thing which is really a question to ask the people who come, is do they want to do something at all about the fact that there's no real representation of the citizens of Dunedin at all? And, um, and if there should be something occurring, what would they like to have occur? So the, the agenda is simply that, and it's really up to them to take the issue and run with it. Um, all I've done is uh, hired a room, and um, I'm prepared to step back after that. And if something is created and it turns out to be what the people want, then fantastic. Have you communicated with the current chairperson of the Householders Association? Uh, yes. Um, the reason I didn't in the first place was because I didn't have a contact address. Uh, but uh, he's come back from a couple of days away, apparently, and he contacted me last night. And he said that he would like to come, and I said, of course, you can come. Mm. And so he will with some members of his group, I, I imagine, and they're very welcome. What do you imagine that your role would be in any new or revamped organisation? It doesn't have to be anything at all. Like I said, I've just called a meeting. I, I would imagine that if anything useful happens, minimally we'll have a kind of steering group, and that would be given a task to do to see what's viable and what isn't, and that then report back. I'd be happy to be on it, but if I wasn't voted onto it, then I wouldn't be on it. Mm. And for me, that would be the end. Dennis Dorney, thank you very much for your time. <laughs> okay, thank you.